Prophetess Debile, 7750 Media, was still at the King's Gate, the Lion's Gate. On the 3rd of February, 2023, the Dr. Patriarch of the Law appeared to me in a dream. He was with other members of the cult family of the law. They were all sitting on chairs and I was standing. The others began clearing their throats rather awkwardly as a sign to me that I was meant to be co-towing to the father of the law, literally. I approached him slowly and greeted him, saying, Good evening, Monsieur. He did not respond to my greeting, but instead he said, You are supposed to tell me that you are never leaving this family. You should have sent someone to engage me, your Rangwane, to talk to me. But you were never supposed to leave. He was seething with anger and bitterness. I never responded. I just looked at him. After all, this is why my father also never responded. Because you cannot send someone an arrogant letter and think that it deserves a response from a person that you disrespect. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 27 says that the lamp of the eternal illuminates the human spirit, searching our most intimate thoughts. The NLT says the Lord's light penetrates the human spirit, exposing every hidden motive. The next verse explains that unfailing love and faithfulness protect the king. His throne is made secure through love. The LSB says loving kindness and truth will guard the king and he upholds his throne by loving kindness. Tricking other people's children into deadly marriages in order to uphold a throne founded on ungodly abominations is not God's way of preserving a king or his throne. Judging from the progression of things from 2010 to 2013, then to 2018, and now we're in 2024, it is patently clear to me that my fate in this marriage was to be a blood sacrifice on the altar of the oath, vow, and covenant of the family of the law and their monarchy. If this was not so, the dissolution of the marriage should have happened quietly, at least a decade ago. Instead, the whole cult family, their brotherhood, their country, their kinsmen, their king, their royal family have been involved in a marriage and managing the domestic affairs of one man and his household. The question is why? Proverbs chapter 28 verse 2 says that a land in rebellion has many rulers, but a ruler with discernment and knowledge maintains order. It does not make sense that hundreds of people have been involved in this one domestic situation. For what? The NLT says that when a moral, pardon me, the NLT says that when there is moral rot within a nation, its government topples easily, but wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. So who is actually the king in this country and nation where one man and his family instruct the king to be using his influence and palace resources in order to oppress a deranged lunatic of a woman when all that was needed in the first place and the situation was a simple dissolution of the marriage. Other people in this brotherhood have gotten divorced and nobody has died. The father of the law, Dr. Patriarch, appeared to me again in a dream on the 6th of October, 2023 with his doctor son. And this time he held my right hand and he wouldn't let go. In the next scene, I was with Piwe Finger and her family, her sisters, some of their friends, 
and a friend of mine called Gloria. But I was the only one who could see Piwe. I knew then when I saw Piwe that she was letting me know that the old man was about to join his ancestors because Piwe's family are Khatebe Mtimkulu, the same clan names as the family of the law. Proverbs 28, 4 says, those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but those who keep the law strive against them. Just because the king is your best friend, it does not mean that you can just go around abusing other people as if their lives don't matter. My life matters. My children's lives matter. The Bible says woe to the land whose king is a child and a servant with leaders that start their parties in the morning. I am not going to be a sacrifice on the altar of anybody's sex diaries and neither will my children. As the cult doctors also love to say, there will be consequences just because I stand up for myself. There will be consequences for the attempts made on my life and for the threats, intimidations, and abuse of not just my children, but also my family. And as for the documents and files that were leaked by the inner circle of the Brotherhood that have been blamed on me to the point that I've been told that I'm going to be effed up. I will not be a scapegoat and I will not yield on the altar of the lawless, incontinent, and narcissistic abusers. God was always going somewhere with everything that has happened. And indeed, it shall be seen because he is definitely moving because the spirit of the Lord does not lie. Thanks for listening.